Welcome people, welcome back to Jamaican Backyard Garden. Um, this morning, I want to see if I can water them plant here early before the sun come up. But before I start water them, I want to show you a little thing over here. So, this right here is a compost bin. And this is how I use if we have if we this is how I use if we put all of my kitchen scraps them so as you can see I have like some pumpkin peel and some banana skin and few leaves of our cabbage and eggshells all sort of like biodegradable things things where you normally throw to the kitchen after when you done peel food and thing yeah so I normally add them in here so along with like some dry leaf and grass and anything that I cut for in my yard yeah so before we get into the video remember to like share and subscribe let's roll the intro So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a bucket like this where you can put all your kitchen scraps in. Once you finish with them in the kitchen, you can just bring them out, add them to the bin. What and what you can add to the bin, um, just biodegradable stuff, um, napkins, paper towel, um, peel from fruits and vegetables, grass. Um, you can add leaves, dry leaves, green leaves, all of them you cut in there. But what you don't want to add is you don't want to add any meat, any dairy products, um, no oily products, don't add any oil to it. Um, and the reason I said don't add any of those, those things tend to attract um, rats and them you cut in there. So. I don't, I don't want to add any of them to it and meat might spoil in there and it might smell bad so add any of them there as you can see this I break down quite well already um, and it not stink it you see me just take them up in my hand no, no problem with that um, another thing I do is like when breadfruit drop off a tree just pick them up and throw them in there just like that see me uh, one thing you want to do now and then is go and get like a bamboo or a piece of stick or something and you want to turn this over because the things you up on the top you want them to go at the bottom so that they can break down and it also irritates the the compost um so you just want to turn that over every now and then don't have to do it every day don't have to do it once a week you'll probably turn this over once every two weeks so you just want to turn it over so that you can get some air in it bin and you stuff them where they are top of break down when I break down yet you can get to go at the bottom and start break down as well
my finish once I finish me just cover it back you just cover it because you don't want no like when rain falls you don't want no excess water in it so just cover it back one other thing um, when you make your compost bin if you use a PVC bar like when I use make sure you see you add some holes in the bottom so any excess water we gather in it can leak out another thing we can do with your kitchen scrap is you can chew them in your like your grow bed if you have a grow bed you can just use a shovel or a hoe dig a hole in your grow bed and throw the kitchen scraps in there you know, stay there and break down over a period of time just the same um, shouldn't have no issue with that and you can plant you can plant on top of it just the same if you have anything to plant you can plant it on top of it just the same you don't have no issue with that So yeah people, um, that are pretty much it for this video, um, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something from it, leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you're doing with your kitchen scraps, how you use them in your garden, um, if you have a different type of compost bin, um, share it with me as well, um, yeah remember to like share and subscribe until um, the next one one out